Hello everyone, I am Ashmi, Assistant Professor, Department of CSAML at MLR Institute of Technology. Welcome back to another session of Artificial Intelligence. In today's session, we are going to learn about uh, traditional systems versus expert systems and the applications of expert systems. Let's see an overview of the uh, today's session. So, we will see the differences between traditional systems and expert systems and various applications of the expert systems. We already know what is a expert systems. Expert systems are the computer applications which are used to solve the complex problems by using the specific domain knowledge. So, the knowledge is taken from the specific domain experts and they will prepare the knowledge engineer will prepare the initial prototype by taking the experts knowledge and refine that knowledge by taking the feedback from the experts. So, in today's uh, session, we will see the differences between expert system and traditional system, how it will be encoded, the problem and what is the important, uh, uh, everything we will see in the differences, uh, expert systems and traditional systems. The first one, the entire problem related expertise is encoded in the expert systems in the form of data structures only, not in the programs. It will be encoded in the form of data structures, not in the programs. But whereas in the traditional system, the pro problem expertise is encoded in both the programs as well as in the data structures. The second one is here in expert systems, uh, knowledge plays the vital role means uh, to solve any simple problem or complex problem it required the knowledge but in the traditional system data is used more efficiently than the knowledge initially it will take uh, only apply the data and it will solve the problems and in the expert systems it are uh, these six systems are capable to explain how it will be reached the particular conclusion and why they have chosen the particular method to reach that conclusion means they will explain and reasoning the solution next in the traditional system these are not capable of explaining a particular conclusion for a problem these systems try to solve in a straightforward manner a problem Next, in the problems are solved more efficiently, but whereas in the traditional system, not as efficient as an expert system. In the expert systems, it uses the symbolic representation for a knowledge, the rules, the different forms of networks, frames, scripts, and performs their inference through symbolic computations. So already we have seen how it will be represented as a semantic networks, extended semantic networks, and the frames also how the knowledge will be represented. But in the traditional systems, these are unable to express in symbols. They just simplify the problems in a straightforward manner. And these are incapable of expressing how and why questions. In the expert systems, it will give the answers. It will provide the solution how it will be reached. But in the traditional system, it is unable to give the answers for how and why questions to solve the problem or to derive that problem. Next, in problem solving, tools are present in expert system, but whereas in a traditional system, no problem sol solving tools in specific. Next, the solution of the problem is uh, more accurate, but in the traditional system may not be more accurate. Next, to provide a clear separation of knowledge from its processing. It will provide the clear separation of the knowledge, what kind of knowledge it is taking and what kind of procedure it is following. This is a clear separation will be available in expert systems. But whereas in the traditional system, do not separate knowledge from the control structure to process this knowledge. Next, to process knowledge expressed in the form of rules and use symbolic reasoning to solve the problems in narrow domain. But whereas in the traditional system, process data and use algorithms a series of well-defined operations to solve general numerical problems. Next, in the expert system, permit inexact reasoning and can deal with incomplete and uncertain and fuzzy data also. If there is a irrelevant data, incomplete data also, it is try to give some solution. Either it is a correct or incorrect, it does not matter, but it will try to give some solution. But whereas in the traditional system, work only on problems where data is complete and exact, then only it will provide the solution for that problem. 
enhance the quality of problem solving by adding new rules or adjusting old ones in the knowledge base when new knowledge is acquired changes are easy to accomplish with the existing knowledge it will add the new knowledge to that uh, knowledge base and it will try to solve the problems but whereas in the traditional system enhance the quality of problem solving by changing the program code which affects both the knowledge and its processing making changes difficult means we can't when we add the new knowledge to that one then it will somewhat difficult to process that this is uh, uh, the differences between uh, expert systems and traditional systems next we'll see various ad applications of expert systems so expert systems have been widely developed and used to solve problems in different types of domains the appropriate problem solving techniques depends on general on the type of problem and the domain let's see one by one the first one diagnosis the expert system belong to this class performs the task malfunctioning of the system from observations first it will observe the behavior and characteristics of that system if any changes found then it will de uh, detect uh, the faulty of systems let's see these systems used for diagnosis of faulty models modules in large signals sig uh, switching networks and for finding faults in computer hardware system diagnosis means these expert systems used for diagnosis of faulty modules in large signal switching networks and for finding faults in computer hardware system next planning and scheduling expert systems are used to plan and scheduling they analyze a set of one or more potentially complex and inter interacting goals in order to determine a set of actions that are need to achieve these goals so here examples are airline scheduling of flights manufacturing job shop scheduling creating plan for applying series of chemical reactions a manufacturing process and planning these are the examples of planning and scheduling the next one design and manufacturing so here a solution to a problem is configured by a given set of objects under a set of constraint by taking the conditions it will design and manufacture using expert system the examples are gen cloning integrated circuits layout designing creation of complex organic molecules modular home building manufacturing the next one is prediction so it will predict uh, what is the uh, how it will be the next uh, uh, time like that it will predict also the expert systems of this class performs the task of inferring the likely consequence of a given situation what is the next half an hour how the weather is uh, what is the stock market what are the uh, share market prediction of crops weather prediction for rains and storms next interpretation the expert systems of this class perform task of uh, interpreting and inferring situation description data of any domain such as geological census data and medical data for example interpreting data from icu test equipment for further investigation or monitoring interpreting intelligent sensor reports to perform situation assessment interpreting radar images to classify ships and etc next one financial decision making this one is uh, plays one of the major role in expert systems these systems assist insurance companies to assess the risk present by the customer and to determine a price for the insurance for example foreign exchange trading formulating financial strategies giving advices etc next instructions this one is uh, it will can offer tutorials and instructions to students by incorporating a student's performance and behavior of that students how he is it will evaluate a student's acquired skills also next one is debugging so this class prescribes remedies for malfunctioning devices they may suggest the type of maintenance needed to correct faulty equipments help in debugging large computer programs to improve the performance etc next knowledge publishing 
the primary function of the expert system in this field is to deliver knowledge to user that is in the context of user's problem if there is any grammatical mistakes all those things for example the expert systems of this class may act as advisors which counsel a user on appropriate grammatical usage in a text a tax advisor that accompanies a tax preparation program which advises the user regarding tax strategies, tactics, and individual tax policy. Other miscellaneous applications, the expert systems also used in the fraud detection, object identification, and information retrieval systems, and also coal mining, judicial systems, and in the defense and household activities, also such as advisors in the cooking and the shopping and, uh, and etc. Here, the expert systems having uh, uh, various applications. Already, we have seen the, some of the applications uh, like uh, uh, instructions, uh, debugging, uh, and in the fraud detection, object detection, information retrieval systems, uh, judicial systems also, it will be helpful. So, in this session, we have seen the differences between expert systems and traditional systems how it will solve the problem how it will be encode the uh, entire problem expertise and uh, uh, whether it will be able to answer the questions or whether it will be uh, uh, represent the symbolically or not all those things we have seen the differences between how the expert system will be and how the traditional system will be in the next uh, various applications we have seen in the form of uh, diagnosis and planning and scheduling and uh, in the judicial systems and uh, advices in cooking and shopping all those things we have seen the applications of expert systems thank you